If you've looked into Cambodia for travel, you've probably seen pictures of the beautiful white sands in Koh Rong in the islands of southern Cambodia. So that is where we are heading today. We are That's leaving right. our beautiful hostel, mm. Karma Traders, but we'll in be back. Kampot, and we are going to be taking a bus and then a ferry, then a tuk-tuk to hopefully find beautiful white sand beaches. Let's go. We're Keith and Deb, and we're currently traveling through Cambodia. We first stopped in Phnom Penh, then Kampot, and now we're seeking a little Cambodian island life. Subscribe to follow along. Her bags are at the bottom of that pile, so if you have breakable things, maybe keep them with you when you're on buses. Some very bumpy roads. We just got off the bus and we have about 45 minutes to chill before our ferry. There's a nice little sitting area. And so we filled up our Tupperwares this morning, so we're having lunch. Nice. Okay, and now we're going to our ferry. It's actually a nice little ferry terminal right over here too. And there's an Amazon coffee, which has very good strong coffee. Just kidding, they're building it. It's not there yet. <laughs> And now we're on the ferry, we're heading to our island. Let's go, 45 minutes. Hopefully there's some wind because we're a bit sweaty. Also, look at these bags. We don't need to stack them with everyone else's bags because they're small. Whoa, nice, you made it. Good job, Deb. <laughs> and now we're on the island. Go wrong. Beaches look beautiful. It does look beautiful here, folks. Wow. That's this is we're in paradise now. Crazy. Crazy. What a transition. Yes. There's our guy. Awesome. Thank it fits. It's so very much. small. Oh, we're good. It fits. There you go. Okay, 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 okay. You're looking for a tent now. It's sort of funny, we just got dropped off in someone's like house almost, and I feel like I walk through someone's living room, outdoor living room, and it's a family run business, and here we are. Bungalows everywhere, and tents with shelters on top of them. Oh, it's so cool. All right, oh, well, look, we get a mattress. Look at That's that place. Fancy. Mattress, towels. And a bed. There you go. Look at that. That's so nice. Home sweet home. I'm looking forward to this, but I will say, as a Canadian, I would prefer if it was not 40 degrees <laughs> in a tent, but that's okay. There's no chinook beside us. <laughs> Here we are the on the beach. beautiful white sand beaches. There is beautiful white sand here and clear water. It's pretty cool. It's wildernessy. Yeah, it is. Which I love. We're in a tent. We're camping. It feels like we're really camping again. I haven't done this in so long. <laughs> you know, it, it really feels great. So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm dripping all along my back. <laughs> Down my front. I'm shimmering. Look at that. I'm shimmering. I need to go in. Go for it, buddy. I'm just gonna... <gasps> Rob. Wow, this feels good. <laughs> All right, now I feel good. This is where we'll be for the next 24 hours. More than that. We are so far out and it's still so shallow. I think we are going to be living in this water for the next two days. <gasps> The sun is setting and we actually moved tents because there were some available that are right on the water and this is insane. Our tent is right here and the ocean is right there. So it's going to be a lovely camping night on the ocean. It's now dinner time and we can eat right at the restaurant 
right here at Coconut Beach Bungalows. As you can tell, it is now dark out, and we realize we're camping, so it's gonna be kind of hard to film a lot of this stuff at night because yeah. it's so dark, so we're using a flashlight. But we just ordered dinner. This is so cool. We're outside, there's little lanterns, and it's we're eating beautiful. traditional like a whole patio here. Kima food, just traditional, right traditional food. in the middle of nowhere on an island. It does feel like we're in the middle of nowhere, but at the same time, it feels like it's accessible and it is a very accessible island it surprisingly is. there was a ton of tourists with us on the i'm really looking forward to exploring this place and to spending more time on the beach and having more food here and being in nature and tonight's beautiful view in a tent and waking up to the sun rising over the ocean there it's gonna be a good oh. island time as we were eating dinner our host told us to come down to the beach to release sky lanterns we weren't expecting this at all and it was a beautiful experience slash this island is known for bioluminescent plankton, which we'll put some what? pictures of what that is here because apparently you can't see it on the camera. You can't. But so he's about to turn the lights off for us and we're gonna go swimming in the dark and apparently the water, like you swish it around. You swish it around and it glows blue. blue or green or something like that. Which is something I wanted to do in Thailand. It's a bucket a list item and it's right here year round, not seasonal. Yes. At our beach. We'll let you know if it actually works. We'll try to capture it, but <laughs> he no said, promises made. He said you won't be able to see on the camera. So. This is a bucket list item. It's very cool. They're like little glowing fireflies in the water. I swear it's getting, it's getting brighter. How do we go here? It was a very hot night. Hottest night of my life, I think, in this tent. But Devin seems to be okay. It's I was part soaked. of the experience. We're literally camping on the freaking ocean on an island in Cambodia. This has to be one of the best views you've had camping. Best, best I mean, views from a room, for too. For sure. Like, best views so from a room cool. as well. And last night. And the plankton is so interesting. It's so cool. So you really have to go sort of far into the darkness. We Which got is the... also kind of weird because you're like walking into the ocean yeah. at night alone. Yeah, it's kind of spooky. But the water's so like clean and there's nothing here and no, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful, it's beautiful sand water. and all the lights were off and we could see it. It's like these like little fireflies in the water, like sparks. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It reminded us of fireflies. You have to like splash, but you don't splash a ton. You splash under the water and they like Just come move out from your hand. It looks like magic, honestly. It like little sparkles, little like white lights. And I think today <laughs> we're just going to really uh, hang out, enjoy this beautiful nature and atmosphere, starting with a swim. Yeah, I'm it's island here. life for us. Island life. Okay, one the water is actually refreshing here, which is nice. So like it's nice. not, it's not hot, it's not cold, but it's, it's refreshing. And there's also a beautiful little family-run restaurant, of course, just like this whole place is, with all the food that we need. So we're off to brunch. Back to that instant coffee life, but I'm not complaining. This is actually really good, and it's coffee, and it's here, and it's 50 cents USD. So cheers to that. For instant coffee, it's pretty good, actually. Oh, strong. We rented some snorkel gear, so apparently on the other side of the bay over there has There's some actually coral. coral. So we're gonna go check that out. So I have a little adventure. Then we can also read in the beach and keep going because that's just like, <gasps> how fun is it just to like lounge in the sun and just read. Although I actually have to say lounge Hang in out. the shade because Keith burns in terms of Sorry, you burn too, <laughs> little bean. Jeez. So realities of travel and trying to work while we're traveling. We were working late last night up at top and we must have left the charging block up there. I can't find my charging block for my computer. So we think someone might have taken it. We really hope that's not the case and it's just misplaced and hopefully it'll be found. But that being said, we've been looking for it for the last hour and no luck. So that kind of creates a problem for us. There's nothing we can do about it now though. 
We are on this beautiful island, so we are gonna go swimming and snorkeling still. So let's get to it. So we tried to go snorkeling, but because of the wind and the waves, it, there wasn't much visibility. But it was still a fun swim. So what else are we gonna do? We're gonna sit on the beach over here on these long chairs at another resort. And you buy a dollar beer and read. It's just so bloody nice to do that, isn't it? It's incredible, and the sand here even is like the squeaky sand. It's like, like the singing sands in Prince Edward Island, Canada. We, we have a lot of Canadian references. We do. <laughs> It's just so squeaky. It's so white and clean. Look at this. It's beautiful in pink. I love dragon fruit now. My new we, favorite fruit. We've learned that since we've been here. Okay, very simple. <laughs> Honestly, kind of milky. Milky, watery. Mm -hmm. I mean, dragon fruit's good. The fresh dragon fruit would be more flavorful than this. Mm -hmm. mm. Still refreshing, but mm. maybe five out of 10, honestly. Yeah, it's just ice, a bit of milk. I said a little bit of sugar, which is nice, because it's not that sweet. A little $3 fried rice. And it's really good. Really quite good. After some food, we're now gonna jump off the pier. We haven't done it yet, and we're very excited to try. We've seen other people do it, so we know it's possible. Ready? All right. Let's do it. Okay, don't cut yourself on any breasts. Yes. Okay, we'll take this in first. It's beautiful here. That oh, is nice. Look at that beach, that private beach. All right, hold my hand. We're gonna jump this way. Okay, ready? Okay, stick together. Okay. Ready? Right there, right? Yeah, okay. off the corner, diagonally. Sounds good. One, two, three. three. I love you, Dev. Go! Whoa! Oh my goodness. Good job, Dev and I five. That was fun. <sighs> Hello, it's the next day here at Coconut Beach, our beautiful paradise resort. Yesterday evening was pretty chill. We did some more reading and then we hung out with some friends here. And as you can tell, I have a helmet on, which means... We're gonna go explore via motorcycle this island, which is actually quite large. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go moped around. Look at this massive jackfruit behind us. All right, let's figure out how this works. We're gonna put the camera away as we figure out how to use the motorbike and we'll meet you at our first location. We successfully made it, got the hang of the bike, we're back in it, and now we made it to a little fishing village, we think. No just other tourists the road. here, it's just on the road. We're gonna just walk around, check it out. Sorry for the harsh lighting, it is a bright and hot day. It's quite the middle of the day, but, but look, this is yeah. gorgeous. Like, you can see the beautiful like hills in the back and the beautiful ocean, and you can see the white beaches along the edge. Yeah, this is a legit fishing a fishing village. We're just, our mm -hmm. place that we're staying is just on the other side of this pier, and every it's, single night we hear these fishing boats coming back or going out, so yep. it's, it's They're all really coming cool. back here. And I like how they're all this pastel blue color. It's honestly it's really colorful pretty. and friendly and calm. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Oh, you want to touch it? Yeah, that's, that's cool, eh? Hi. Do you like my hair? Curly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God. It was nice to meet you. Oh, it's pretty. Mm. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Okay, that was the cutest kid ever. We're literally walking. So sweet. And then she goes, 
hi. And then she yeah. wanted to see the camera and touch our microphone. So we said, oh, we were trying to learn some Kimi words. So Thai, I guess, I think is, is hello. hello. But you know, uh, you also know thank you. Yeah. What is it? I forget. Um, Saula Kun. He's a lot better at learning new languages than I am. <laughs> but I mean, that's not really much. It's the least we can do. We gotta try harder. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep on going. Keep on sweating. <laughs> it's hot. Why don't we pick the, even them, they're not really doing too much. They're hanging out in their hammocks during the day. Like, why don't we pick this time of day to do what we're doing? You slept in because there was wind so we could sleep in the tent. Yeah, sleeping in was nice this morning because it was actually breezy. <laughs> Woo -hoo, feel that breeze. That is nice. It's actually quite hilly here, I'll go wrong. Yeah. Than I thought. Pit stop literally on the side of the road because we didn't put enough sunscreen on, we feel. We just feel like we're getting toasted out here. It's so. a searing hot day. Reapplying. Reapply. We made it to a little boardwalk ecotourism community so we can go walk along the mangroves. Nice. So we made it in, it costs $2 USD per person. If you want to go kayaking, it's another $10. That and way. It's that way. And this way there's a boardwalk through some mangrove trees. So we're gonna go check that out because we love trees. I am loving all these signs they have around. Go mother nature, bad plastic. Plastic bad. Except obviously in the medical field, which is actually very important to use certain plastics and we're trying to work on innovating that sort of technology. But yeah, generally, it's a bad material. Clean community starts with us, Keith. This is cool. Hey, look at this, and they're we, we sort of overgrown. Forest. Wow, what is this boardwalk? Look at this, and there's the river. This is neat. This is neat. Together for plastic-free community. And there's huts along the edge of the river with hammocks. Oh my god, it's made from tags. A hammock made of tags. Well, these things are sturdy. Oh my how gosh. is it comfort wise? It's like the tags that tell you how to wash it and stuff and the material that it's made from. It's not uber comfortable, but it works. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Still moving here, I think this boardwalk is about 1,000 meters? Yeah, she said I think 1,300 is what it's So over a kilometer, right on. Oh look, it splits into two different directions here. Where do we go, Dev? That looks like a dead end, so I think straight. straight. Okay. Also, I think we're here during dry season. Mm -hmm. So if you're here- It's quite dry. Just even after monsoon season, I bet it'll look a lot different, because right now it's like, like all, all dried up. Yeah. I think usually the mangroves are in water. We made it to the end of the boardwalk and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's where the river meets the ocean. You got white sand beaches, beautiful mangrove trees. Quite to nice. To be honest, our beach is really clean, but we've noticed there's a lot of garbage that washes off from the ocean. Probably like one of the cleanest the beaches too, but still garbage, yeah. Yeah, so it's really neat that they have this area. It's really clean, up. yeah, good point, Dad. Eh? So we just met the owner of this place and He's super awesome and cool and really into protecting the environment and about creating a plastic free environment on this island and hoping that it'll reach the whole island as a whole. Nice and clean, plastic free, and this is where the community can come and learn and have awareness of cleanness here. I That's love it. it. Yes. Yes. So, really awesome. Beach. It's actually fairly deserted, but it's huge. Wow, yeah, it's very long. This is Soksan Beach. And look at the color of that water. Like that's insane. I mean, it's glowing. This is this is definitely a paradise place. Yeah. People seeking those white sand beaches and beautiful water. Yeah. It's one of those places, man. Amazing. Wow. So 
one thing we did notice on that beach sadly is there was a lot of plastic waste and we think maybe it's because it's kind of a deserted beach so it gets washed in from the ocean and there aren't people there to clean it up in comparison uh, to our island i know there's a lot beach. worse things in indonesia and other places in the world but oh true yes yes yeah no this island's fairly clean on the plastic front but it's still sad that it washes on to the beaches so it's pretty cool the ecotourism thing that we just went to and how they're keeping the mangroves clean in that area and they hope to keep expanding which is awesome we now made it to code touch which is a popular beach because the ferry uh, comes directly here as well. I think it's like the main port. Um, it seems also like a very hostile environment. So more Western, more backpacking, more partying. Definitely a different vibe. It's busy here, right? Like busiest place in the island. Yeah, definitely a different vibe than our calm, serene coconut beach. There's definitely more here. Obviously there's like stores and boutiques and gift shops and more restaurants, more piers, more boat trips, ah, more options. Now we need to get a smoothie and some water because it's necessary <laughs> for survival, I think. <laughs> Mango, banana, papaya. Wow. That looks good. And ice, that's all there is. Oh good, it's refreshing. <laughs> wow. Did I hit the spot? Mm hmm. You needed that, didn't you? Mm hmm. Get a little hangry? Maybe a bit. Okay, not gonna lie, the road to get to Co Touch from mainland, sort of, ma crazy. main road is nuts. I walked nuts. down it. And it's it steep. Crazy. We're gonna try and go up though. So we're gonna try to go up. I Devin's gonna walk. gonna walk on the side, but we'll see you when we get somewhere. Okay, so we're back at Coconut Beach at our beautiful place, Coconut, Coconut Beach Bungalows. And watch this, look how local and sort of like real this is. We're, we're gonna walk through the living space right here, the kitchen. And it's just so, this is the main entrance. You know? <laughs> and then, we're here where all the dogs and cats and kids hang out all day. <laughs> okay, so we didn't get to see the whole island. We didn't get to see Lonely Beach, which is popular which is and a apparently, cool spot for it snorkeling. It takes a very long time to get there, but apparently it's really beautiful. So we didn't get to see the whole island, but I have to say, and I am a bit biased, I think our spot's the best. Out of the places we visited for today, for sure, it's this is paradise, and it's I love exploring places because you don't realize how incredible the place you have is until you a see other things. A lot of the time things. too, and we're grateful for that too. And sometimes we, you know, you 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 get lucky, and we we were and lucky we in this we case. Did. There's a lot of great reviews on Booking.com, so that we've gotten helped. better at that. But it's yeah. like beautiful family that runs it, and they super work sweet. hard. They're super sweet, and it's just a really quiet beach. And a quick update. We did never find my charger box. Oh yeah, it disappeared. We don't know what happened. I was freaking out because we need the computer to charge, like to work. But luckily, we found out this charger. charger can charge my computer as well, so we're okay. Yeah, and as you can tell, we're sweaty beans, so we're I think we're gonna swim in. and then hopefully go watch the sunset. After a nice cool down, we are heading back to the bike and racing across the other side of the island again to make it for sunset. Well, I think the sun was setting over here. It's we can't cloudy. see it behind the clouds. It was still That's a cool all right. Bike ride to get here. Meeting beautiful some friends, beach. beautiful beach. We had a beautiful day. I think the conclusion is the fact that this island doesn't necessarily need to be a party island and there's a lot of peace and tranquility. Mm -hmm. Coconut Beach was amazing Such and we really place. loved it. Yeah, it's we, a really cool place. We love the island life. So we're going to go swimming and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks see for you watching. Soon. Good morning, Keith. I'm not lying, that was the hottest night of my life. I've never been warmer, sweatier while sleeping. <laughs> not even like with a serious fever from like some sort of disease. That was hot.